Welcome to the Master Cars Pro channel. Today we talk about the problems and weaknesses of this wonderful car. We are starting with the power units as usual. The weak points of the 1.6 QG 16DE engine is the timing chain. Its resource average 140-160,000 km. Symptoms where the problems with starting the unit, the noise of the operation increases, idling is floating. The roller and the alternator belt serve about the same. The culprit for unstable idle speed may be severe contamination of the throttle, the fuel pump mesh or the EGR valve, cases and destruction of the catalyst on the run of 150-200,000 km are not uncommon, the crumbs of which were sucked into the cylinders. In order not to have problems with the piston, the catalyst must be changed or removed in advance. After 6-8 years of operation, the crankshaft sensors need to be replaced. On cars of the first years of production, the engine control unit may start to malfunction. As a result, jerking at low speeds appears. To eliminate the disease, you need to replace the ECU. After 200,000 km, an oil burner appears, which progresses with an increase in the mileage. Of the minor troubles, one can note the short service life of the ignition models and the idle valve gasket. The not very successful design of the fuel pump, weak fans and the radiator of the cooling system. It should be noted that there are no hydraulic lifters here, so every 80-100,000 km it is necessary to adjust the thermal clearances of the valves. The engine number is stamped on the right side of the cylinder block and is highly susceptible to corrosion. With proper maintenance, the engine can last up to 500,000 km. Engine 1.8 QR18DE is an exact copy of the weakest engine, but with an increased cylinder diameter from 76 mm to 80 mm. The 2 liter unit and its enlarged copy 2.5 QR25DE turned out to be less reliable than weaker motors. The main problems of these engines include a weak catalyst, it collapses on a mileage of 120 and 150,000 km. After styling in 2006, it received a metal base, thanks to which it ceased to harm the piston, and the timing chain is stretched were often cases when the chain did not reach 100,000 km. The piston group has also gained notoriety after 150,000 km. The rings lie and oil consumption significantly increases. A phase shifter, thermostat, valve cover and cylinder head gaskets and an oil pump have a rather modest resource. In addition, cars with such units have difficulty starting in severe frosts. As a rule, the reason lies in the poor adaptation of the control unit to our climatic conditions. Periodically, there are problems with the stability of the engine at idle. For smooth operation of the motor, it is necessary to clean the nozzles and the throttle assembly from time to time. When replacing spark plugs, it is recommended to use a torque wrench since exceeding the tightening torque may result in cracks in the, in the spark plug wells and further replacement of the cylinder head. Cracking formation in the cylinder head between the valve seats can be caused by severing knocking. There are problems with the reliability of the cooling system, corals, the radiator leaks and the thermostat, the failure of which is fraught with overheating of the aluminum cylinder block. With a mileage of 150-200,000 km, there are frequent cases of starter failure. As for the resource in pre-styling versions of the car, in most cases by 250,000 km. The cylinder head had to be changed and the engine capitalized. After restyling, many problems were eliminated, due to which the engine resource increased up to 400,000 km. As a rule, diesel-powered cars were imported from Europe and were equipped with a 2.2 DCI ED22 engine. The weak points here are the unreliability of the engine control unit and the boost pressure sensor. Often, owners also name the current intercooler as well as stuck EGR valve. On a run of 200-250,000 km, a double row timing chain needs to be replaced. It is also worth knowing the fragile glow plugs, which often break off when replaced. After which, it is very problematic to get them out of the wells. The rest of the engine is reliable. Nozzles not churn more than 150,000 km. A turbine 250,000 km or more. With proper maintenance, the engine will last about 350,000 km. Oddly enough, but the most problematic here is the 5 speed manual gearbox, which could need expensive repairs without lasting 100,000 km. 
The reason for the unreliability of the manual transmission lies in its poor design and poor quality of bearings. If the owner paid attention to the noise that appeared in time, repairing the box was relatively inexpensive. When tightening the repair, problems with gears and differential appeared, which led to the gearbox jamming and its significant damage. But with the 6-speed, there are practically no problems, especially in versions with a gasoline engine. In diesel cars, as a result of severe wear of the bearings and changes in the clearances, the four gear stops engaging. A common disadvantage of manual transmissions is the rapid wear of the synchronizers, especially with careless handling. A continuously variable variator is also considered quite problematic. The fact is that this transmission loves high quality service, is very afraid and of overheating and loads. If the operating rules and maintenance intervals are not followed, wear products, metal shaving of the constant and belt, with quickly close the oil pump pressure relief valve and the valve body solenoids, as a result of which the oil pressure will decrease and the wear of the rubbing parts will accelerate. The weak points of the variator include the stop motor, responsible for adjusting the gear ratio, shaft bearings, splint joints of planetary gear couplings and a package of its clutches. With frequent overheating, the speed sensor and the pressure relief valve are quickly removed. The transmission resource rarely exceeds 200,000 km. The 4-speed automatic turned out to be much more reliable. As a rule, it does not cause problem up to 200,000 km. And if breakdowns happen earlier, when they are somehow connected with unsatisfactory maintenance, where products of the clutches are sprayed with grease throughout the box, closing everything around. Oil starvation of the gearbox leads to rapid wear of the rear planetary gear set. The weak point of the automatic transmission is considered to be the blocking lining and the brake hand of the gas turbine engine. Solenoids can withstand up to 300,000 km. The same is true for clutches. The most problematic part of the chassis is the beam. In the absence of maintenance, the attachment points rot and it falls off. A similar problem can befall a stretcher. As for the resource of the suspension consumables, it is quite large. So, for example, stabilizer bushings and strut supports serve 80-100,000 km. Shock absorbers run on average 120-150,000 km. Both joints and silent blocks can withstand the same amount. Wheel bearings are rented at a mileage of 150-100,000 km. The steering system uses a rack and pinion mechanism with power steering. This unit turned out to be problematic and requires constant monitoring of the conditions of the inverse and the level of tightening, a constructive miscalculation. The resource of the plastic bushings of the rail also raises many questions by 100,000 km way break and flow. Closer to 150,000 km, the bearings of the lower steering shaft cross pipes wear out. Steering tips serve 80-100,000 km. Trust up to 140-160,000 km, but the braking system is less problematic. The main trouble is so calipers, due to the lack of proper protection from dirt. They must be periodically washed. Over time, the ABS may start to work incorrectly. The reason, as a rule, is in the comb rings. They crack. Consumables have an acceptable resource. Brake pads 50-80,000 km, discs 200-300,000 km. The cellar has not only original design, but also high-quality finishing materials. Among the shortcomings here are poor sound insulation, poor location of the cabin filter, and difficulties in setting some options for the climate system. As for the electrical equipment, here it is worth noting possible problems with the air conditioner. The main pipes are cracking, the compressor and the coupling are unreliable. After 150-200,000 km, the heater motor may whistle. Problems with the multimedia system are also possible, it crashes and the pixels of the monochrome display disappear over time. Well, if you are the owner of this car, then please describe the problems that you had to face during the operation of the car. Perhaps it is your feedback what will help viewers when choosing a car. I am done. Thank you all very much for your attention. I am very grateful to you if you subscribe to the channel and leave a comment. See you soon.